question. What are you afraid of today? Name your fear. What is the monster in your closet today? And so I took those words to heart. There's something powerful about naming what it is you are afraid of. There's some healing that comes in naming your monster. May I ask us a personal question? What is it that you are afraid of today? That teacher ends her writing by asking this question, are we afraid because we have no faith? Or do we have no faith because we are afraid? Because fear drives us away from God. Faith draws us to God. And so today, in these powerful stories, we see a father and we see a woman who are drawn to Jesus and who are healed of fear. Jairus comes. His little girl is dying, and he, and he kneels down at Jesus and begs him repeatedly, come, if you'll just lay hands on her, she'll live. And Jesus does an extraordinary thing, doesn't he? He goes with him. But before they can get there, there's an interruption, and a woman who's suffering for 12 years has lost everything, doesn't come to Jesus and bow down and talk directly to him. She comes around and comes to him from the back and just touches his cloak, and she's healed. And then news comes to Jairus. He gets the worst news of his life. Your daughter is dead. Don't trouble God anymore. It's the worst news any parent or any godparent can get, I think. This week, I had to take that news to a grandmother. She had to hear the worst news. Your granddaughter has been killed in a motorcycle accident. Maybe what we're afraid of is bad news getting it or having to give it. Jairus got bad news. But Jesus said, fear not, only believe. And he did. And his daughter was raised to life. We can be healed of fear. You'll hear it in the wonderful anthem. You're going to hear a wonderful anthem. I got to hear it over and over again during rehearsal. You'll get to hear it. It's wonderful. You're going to love it, Ruth. It's powerful. And it is about healing, being healed, and being healed of fear, you see. When we come to receive the body and the blood of Christ, you can be healed of whatever it is you're afraid of today. There's a wonderful story in my, in my research for today's sermon. A 55-year-old man is diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. He's faithful, and he and his wife pray. Every day they pray for him to be healed of Parkinson's disease. And 20 years later, he's in the debilitating stages of the disease. And he says, God has answered my prayers. Because while I was not healed from the disease, I was healed from the fear of the disease. How many times some of the most healed whole people we know are living with physical disease, but their spirits and their minds and their, their ministry is extraordinary, you see. 
There's a healing that takes place. In this story with the woman, the Greek word used is sozo, and it means wholeness. Uh, the Greek uses a different word for physical cure. That word is used also in this story. But the word sozo is used, that, that this woman and this child, they are made whole and well and complete and saved. That's the healing that we're talking about. Fear not, only believe. Believe what? Believe as David believed, that the God who had already delivered him from bears and lions could deliver him from a giant. Believe as David believed that the battle is the Lord's and that he's going to deliver whatever your giant is. You're going to be delivered from. Or believe as Father Ben believes and as I believe that God is awake in the boat that is your life and that the power of God is awake in you and in me and that we can go forth in that power. <clears throat> believe as we heard today in the stories that we can be healed and made whole, saved. If this is too much to believe today, believe this. Believe that God loves you. Let your heart fill with the knowledge of God's love for you. And let God's love for you open up your heart in a way that you can receive healing and wholeness. I'm going to pray for you this week. I only know a few of your names, but I'm going to pray for each one of you. I'm going to see your faces, and I'm going to be praying for the gift of trust for you, for the gift of faith. Will you pray for me that way? Let us pray. Almighty God, source of all health. So fill our hearts with faith in your love that with calm expectancy we may make room for your power to possess us and gracefully receive your healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.